Hi, I'm conventionalist Lydia here. Just wanted to shoot you a quick little video um, to challenge you for one action today uh, for a topic that I see happening quite often uh, with people that come to me and tell me that they don't have time uh, to dedicate to their dreams in the week because they work a full-time job or to start a business on the side or whatever side hustle uh, that you're hoping to start. Uh, and they're finding it a bit difficult to juggle um, you know, the role that they play in the nine to five, plus perhaps you're a mother uh, or a father Father, have children uh, or juggling relationships really and other priorities in your life uh, so one of the first things I want to say about that is that with everything that we consider priority uh, that are important in our lives needs to be treated um, that way right so when you love your family when you have a partner when you have relationships that you care about uh, you dedicate time you make it happen uh, but when it comes to sometimes our own dreams our own goals for things we may tend to put that in the back burner because everything else is uh, we're more reactive to everything else that's being thrown at us to begin with and Sometimes what I like to do is really figure out why don't I have time, right? So that's something that you can start doing today is like take inventory of where are you spending your time when it's not at the nine to five, right? Uh, so if you come home from work at five o'clock or six o'clock or whatever is the time that you come home, uh, you know, for, what are you doing after, right? Um, what are you doing on the weekends? What are the days that are um, spent doing things that you know aren't necessarily advancing you to um, have the dream or have the goals that you've set out for yourself for this year. So you want to start trimming the fat, but first you want to know where you're spending your time. So uh, start to maybe print out a calendar uh, that's a template online and start filling in, um, you know, by hand what you what you're usually doing to spend time in your days, and then start to trim the fat and start to dedicate blocks of time in your calendar to work on this thing that you said is super important to you. Um, and so you 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 do need to first of all make that choice, right? That this this is going to be part of the non-negotiable goal, non-negotiable dreams that you have to exchange time for. And everything that we put into our lives is an exchange. You know, when you say, I want to quit my job, you're exchanging it for something else, a different experience, a different value uh, that you that you want to have that this job isn't giving you. If you say you want to start a business, there's an exchange there as well. You're exchanging time, effort, focus, creation, whatever it is to do something that means something to you. And that might be because you want to create things. You want to impact the world. You want to do something of your very own. You know, what are the reasons of exchange for you to be dedicating um, your, you know, valuable time, you know, uh, throughout the week. And when you time block those commitment times, right? And you can start really simply like one small time slot, Fridays from five to eight o'clock, here's where I work on my business or I work on my goals. Um, because that's gonna, if it's, if it's in the calendar, has an alarm, you don't block anything off for that period of time, you can sit there and do it and you can focus and not have all these different distractions in your life as you're trying to complete things. Uh, because as we move forward with our goals and be able to produce results of success, uh, we have to focus and we have to commit to see things into completion. And if you haven't been doing that, that's why you haven't been getting to that next phase of what needs to happen for your goals, right? So um, choose one day. If one day is all for you or an hour a week is all for you, that's okay until you can find more time. Uh, but commit to that time. Don't say a multiple days when you really know that's not very feasible. It's going to stress you out and cause anxiety. Do something feasible, right? Create some uh, a feasible schedule for working on your goals after the nine to five. Um, or, or, or after work uh, that you can really dedicate to and create an environment that's comfortable for you. Have a cup of tea, uh, make a meal, right? Uh, put music on, make that experience of that hour that you spend on your goals every single week uh, to be a, a nice place for you to be comfortable uh, to do it in. Okay, thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. See you.